That day, I was going to an interview straight out of college. That was a big opportunity for me and running late was not what I would have needed. Typical, just as I rounded the corner, I watched as the bus pulled away from the stop further up the street. As I pulled out my phone to call a cab, I dropped all the documents I needed for the interview straight into a puddle at my feet. A hand came from nowhere and began picking everything up. It was a young guy who handed me the documents and said, There you go, beautiful. I smiled at him, then ran away towards a taxi rank. The rest of the day sort of fell into place. I did the interview, then headed home. That night, I needed to relax. So I called a few friends and headed into town for a drink. The night was going well. At one point, I headed to the bathroom to sort my hair and check my makeup. When I returned, there was a note under my drink. Hi, beautiful. Great to see you. My friend swore she hadn't seen who left the message on the table. I looked around the bar trying to figure out who had left that note, but nobody stood out to me. But then I realized. I knew it had to be that guy. The word beautiful bounced around my head. That night, it was 4am when my phone rang, shocking me out of a daze. The caller ID said unknown. Hi beautiful. Relaxing after a long day? I'll see you in the morning. And with that he put the phone down. Who is this guy? I don't even remember his face. And how did he get my number? But then it hit me. On the coffee table lay the water damage documents for the interview. On the top page, all my contact details written for all to see. Over the next few weeks, every night, after work, I got the same phone calls, and the occasional note left on my door. Hi beautiful, look amazing today. Hi beautiful, we belong together. Hi beautiful, you'll be mine soon, can't wait. I decided to ask my friend to sleep over at my place. I didn't know what to expect from that weirdo, and all the calls and messages seemed to stop the day she slept over. A few weeks later, I just finished my final shift at work before breaking up for summer, then headed towards the train station just after 11pm. The streets were quiet and peaceful. After a few minutes, I noticed a subtle noise coming from behind me and spotted a man following me at a distance. With his hood up, I couldn't make out who it was, but I was positive it was my stalker. His pace began to speed up until it sounded as though he was right on top of me. I waved at the passing car trying to get their attention, but they just waved back as the car sailed by. A quick tug on my arm pulled me backwards, spinning me around. He was coming closer, mumbling something. Before I could react, a second guy appeared from the shadow, launching a few blows to the assailant's head, sending him to the floor. I was in tears and I began to thank the man for helping when he turned to me and said, Hi beautiful, lucky I was around. After that, it all went hazy. When I awoke, the assailant was stood above me with an officer. Turns out my stalker had done this before and they were watching me and him and the hooded guy following me was there for my protection. After searching his apartment, they found many girls' belongings and a bed with handcuff and straps, seemingly in anticipation for his next victim, me. 